Hello, Bia friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is another update from Biafra Land. Of course, is a um, crucial meeting of our Prime Minister. Governor deploying 5,000 soldiers to Abba to do what? To go and clear all the youths. To go and enforce the disappearance of all the youths, all the men. That is what this implies. I don't know what the governors are thinking. How is it that it is only Igbo governors that believe in Nigeria? <laughs> only Igbo governors that believe in Nigeria. Yorubas don't believe in Nigeria. That is why you see them doing their own thing. You know, they, they arrange, equip, and do everything they can do in Yoruba land position their schools, their hospitals, equip it to the brim in Yoruba land. But our governors prefer to go outside when they are sick. So there's no good hospital around us. And now they are deploying 5,000 soldiers to Abba. And you say Governor Oti is trying. The same thing that Hopu Zodema is doing. The same thing that Omahi did, the same thing that Buruburu did, the same thing that uh, was this guy's Naobia not did. You say they are all the same. They are all stooges, you know. They serve the Fulanese with everything in them. They serve the Fulanese with every person they know. Yes, come and carry and go, no problem. So, our Prime Minister now said, people are thinking it's because we have Biafra Liberation Army or because unknown government attacked them. That is why they are trying to come and do mass arrest. But you should remember that this has been happening from beginning. They do mass arrest over our people, on our people, whether provoked or unprovoked. They disappear our people because if you are calling it arrest, like our prime minister cleared up, he said, Don't even assert, assert anything arrest in it because it's forceful disappearance of our people. That's what they are enforcing. All right, that the people they carry today, you may not see them again, or they will keep them for years so that when by the time they will come out. They will not even understand any other thing. You understand? So that is what is actually ongoing. And he said we're not going to back down because if you back down, they will still continue what they are doing. So now I get the wetara. The same jungle justice they are doing on our people is the same jungle justice because Musa even said it, that they have already adopted jungle warfare. Hmm. When we tell you that there is war ongoing, people will say, no, no, no. You are trying to escalate war. You are trying to cause war. No, war is ongoing in Nigeria, especially in Southeast. The military fighting, the civilians killing them and enforcing their disappearance. I want us to join to this conversation of our Prime Minister. You will understand that this guy actually knows what he's doing. He knows, and that is the kind of mind that fits Nigeria. If you are, if you are a coward, and you ever start doing this freedom fighting, the way they will, they will package you and pay you off. You will not understand it. You only find yourself outside the agitation, and that is when you know that you have sold out. But they need hard-minded people like Mazen and Dekano, people that know what they are doing, people that will say, instead of them to give up, it is better they are lowered. That's the type of mind, mindset that can divide Nigeria. When they offer you gold, when they offer you silver, when they try to kill all the villages, you still don't back down. He say the last man standing, the last man standing will be the people that will enjoy the labor of today. <clears throat> and this is bitter. 
you ne you, 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 in fact it's bitter when you hear it your mind will skip but that is how it is let's hear him out and i'll be right back this position is just very simple uh you don't uh go and start uh, not just uh, if you say arrest um doctrine is actually uh giving them some kind of legality you know uh what they do is enforcement of disappearance of our people because those people they take will never come back and so like i said we are not going to back down on this particular liberation because they are abducting they have been doing this even when we have not started the liberation so it is whether you do it or not you are going to be a victim and what we are doing now is to we are going to do this thing once and for all and whoever that is remaining will continue and enjoy our fight that is the way it is going to be it is fight to finish but what one thing i can assure Bia france is that nigeria can never win this war never not this time they will never win it because this war we are fighting it in our own way they have tried to you know try to make us come out for conventional warfare it's not going to happen and i'm very very happy that uh, they have confirmed their jungle warfare everybody had musa saying they have adopted the jungle welfare. And you know what jungle welfare means. If civilians can have a jungle justice on other people, and you see how barbarism it is, when you say jungle justice, you know, when you see people being lynched, you see how barbaric it is, right? Now you think about when the military is in the jungle welfare. So we are going to meet them ruthlessly, the same way. Ufaka haji, All right. Um, we, um, Oluwebube, please uh, put the veil on the screen because uh, people want sorry. to see the veil. Sorry, Mazi. Sorry, my minister. Okay. Sorry. We still have somebody, um, Mazi Abuchi. Maybe you want to unveil the. What yeah, doing? that's why I said uh, the veil should be displayed on the screen. Oluwebube, okay. display the veil on the screen while the speakers will come up. Um, Abuchi, over to you, or meet yourself. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Very well, sir. There we PM, no. There we Um, Ihina, Ihina, I am not here. Ana menyenge, ana menyenge aka makau o ngwa kai ne lanya ngwa o kwano anya bia fraja huzo ana mekele ni makam boni le na barai ana masika chine ke ni dunga ge ba ole na ga kuzi kwana ngenyenge ike igeji loga aini le mwemere non island ana meji Hundred euro. I say no. There we go. Yeah, I am a super. Catching like a gozing. You can get more. You can get a oboro. I get it. Now I'm not a queen here. I get men. I get shake. Thank you, sir. There we go. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you um, so much. Debra, Debra, Galaxy. Over to you. Deborah. My Prime Minister, I, I greet you. Greetings. In fact, this is the very first time I'm speaking to you. I've been um I've been following from day one and I've been following. I am also a blogger on Facebook and uh, Twitter. So I always follow you. I subscribe, I follow. Uh, Biafra Republic government in exile, and I always say something or share out things that are important. My question is, and uh, first of all, may God guide you. Short, you are you are why some of me people like me are still living, still alive. We have fought this battle from day one, and we are going to finish it. I I think I'm born for this generation. My I don't want to take much time. Uh, my question is uh, number one. Um, those who have been supporting all this while, who have been paying, is there any kind of a reference 
because by the time we'll get to Biafra, which by sure, 1,000%, Biafra is already here. Yes. You know our people, Ndibo, as soon as Biafra come now, hey, Bidom, they'll start their mago mago. You know, even some people who have not even contributed a penny, they'll want to come and be the one to get job or Biafran government allocation or whatever. Is there any way that people who have been paying and supporting will be recognized by maybe having a reference number or something? Thank you very much. That particular foundation has been laid in a very strong way. And it starts by the uh, the uh, ID card, the national ID card that the Biafra government in Ezal is issuing at this point. So it is category by category. So we've already, okay, that friend. problem has been solved. Just, just go and sleep. Every okay. person that, every person mm -hmm. that is, you know, that has been supporting from 2021, those who supported from 2013 after the formation of IPOB, we know how we're going to solve it, you know, uh -huh. but from 2021 have a special status. So okay. we already solved that problem. Just as you apply it from your ID card already, you already hmm. know, you already, the government already know who you are. So oh, the issue is. here is that once Biafra has been declared from the 2nd of December, it does not matter how many years it takes us to defend it, because this is not a small okay. fight, okay? okay? It doesn't yes. matter how many years it's going to take us to defend Biafra and yes. fight for the recognition of Biafra and it become independent. Once you present your ID card anywhere, Mm. The Biafra Security Administration, once you mm. present it back home, we mm -hmm. know the category of the Biafra you fall into. Oh, thank you. Thank yes. you, my perimeter. And not, second one again, you know, as we're going to declare the independence uh, declaration uh, in this December, what about if this, when we declare it and these terrorist Nigerian soldiers, they pick up a fight for us? Um, what, well, I, 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 what, what do you mean? What do you, oh, sorry, before you finish your question, I don't understand what you mean by pick up. They already pick up a fight now. Are you, is this yeah. what I'm addressing here? Mm -hmm. In fact, they have picked mm -hmm. up a fight since 1967. Oh, you, yeah. know, you know what they did was to use their media, try to, because mm -hmm. then we don't, we don't have media. So they, yes. try, they have tried to use the media to change the narrative. But you see, we know exactly what we're doing. This is Biafra government in exile. And that's why we have been able to push even the journalists. Mm. You listen to Ephraim Sabati for the very mm. first time. He yes. was saying that it's like the Biafra war did not actually end it. You know, that the Biafra war didn't end yes. for the very first time. And that is yeah. the narrative that they have changed for many years because we have mm. con con continued to say that this war only ended on the pages of new newspaper. Yes. They have not physically ended. So, when you say they declare, we are already fighting. The only thing you'll be saying now is that how we can, you know, get more weapons to prepare mm. after the 2nd mm. of December. Okay. That yes. is what we should be. But whether they have declared war, they have mm. declared war. And the war they declare now is even the brutal one because they say it is a jungle welfare. Mm. Our own is a gorilla welfare. You know, the gorilla no, welfare what it means. You hit target. Yes. And then, you know, they know what. So it, their own mm. also is a jungle welfare. So, it is you do me, I do you. The only thing is that from the second of December, we will increase. We'll make sure that no military personnel will be sleeping in any barrack within the Biafra that's territory. Good. That is our target. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you, my Prime Minister. Uh, my last one is uh, so we're going to have like volunteer because me, I want to fight another one. <laughs> I want to fight. <laughs> Honestly, I want to come don't, and don't, don't, don't worry, we have we have we have enough, we have enough, believe me, we have enough men. Like uh, I see some people, you know, getting worried. We know that they have dispatched a lot of uh, uh, infiltrator, you know, yeah. those who those Biafrans who are serving in yes. the military. They have, yeah. and I want uh, the media team to put this particular thing. I want to say now, you know, because yeah. I want it to be shared so they will know that we know what is going on. Yes, they have dispatched certain numbers of people, Biafrans serving in the Nigeria Army, and yeah. their job is to you know, to approach me, approach our people, our media team and all that, that they want to join, you know, they are leaving the military and all that. And the promise that they gave to them is some of them will, will be promoted if they succeed in okay. infiltrating our Biafra Defense Forces, they will be yeah. promoted to captain because these people are, there are people who can never become rank, who can never attain the rank of captain. Oh, it is yeah. not that they are not good to be, to be a captain in the army, Nigerian army. Yeah. But there are mm. people who they are better than from the northern Nigeria, they will yeah. be the captain within a few years. 
But these people, yeah. they know with the marginalization in Nigerian military, they can never attain the rank of captain until they die. So yes. they have promised them that once they do this, they will promote them to captain. I am telling you the fact. Um, we have this information. Mm. So yes. we are waiting for them. So anybody yeah. coming to join Biafra Liberation I mean, believe me, write your will. You are a Yes. yes. Thank you very right. much, my Prime Minister. Uh, my, I don't have much to say because I've been following up, I've been following Biafra Republic of Nigeria, and I've been following you bomba to bomba. Anytime you post, I'm there, I'm sharing. Um, you know, so I what I want to say last is may God continue to lead you, direct you, guide you with your cabinet. We are getting Biafra. That's why I'm alive, because I am coming back as a Biafra. I told them already, I am not more a Nigeria. I am visiting as a Biafra, and I'll step into Biafra, and I'll see Biafra. May God bless you and continue to bless you, and uh, yeah. continue you. whatever you're doing. And also our men are back home. May God bless them. Thank you very much. It's Thank a you pleasure. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Finance Minister, over to you. Uh, PM, good afternoon from here. Uh, and there were finance. They were good afternoon, fellow Biafrans, uh, all protocol observed. Happy to be here and uh, wherever you see our PM. If you all notice, uh, he go with he go with his cabinet, those that make things happen. I just want to let us know that the reason why we are doing what we are doing here today is to support the movement of uh, the liberation of Biafra. Something happened two days ago here in US. And the person that was found guilty, the ex-president, his party, they rallied around him, pouring contribution financially to support because they know they need money. They know things are going to be tough and tougher. And only what they, they're going to have the situation for them to win November, money. So our town hall meeting, whenever we want to appreciate the cause of Biafra and to appreciate our PM visit, let's make it as large as possible, as large as it can as we can. The reason why we need money. And on our PM speech, everything still boils down to how we defeat the zoo government, how we win this battle. We need money. Please, when you support the meeting, when you ask your question, ask reasonable. But at the end of the day, finance is really important. Our rep here uh, from Ireland, she has something special that she is going to unveil. Unless until our PM override this my request, I'm going to block that with the sum of 1,000 until we oh step up and do more. And oh. really sure that we are supporting this movement financially in a way that we send, send a loud voice. I know $50, $100, $20 is something, but let's do better than Let's show the world, let's show ourselves and be well convinced that what we are doing, what fighting for, we need a giveaway, a gemma, we need real money. Please support the best you can. But just as I said, unless our PM veto it or override it, but we need somebody to come and do more than it. Yes, we take whatever we need to the next town hall meeting maybe in france or any other country that is hosting unless we do better than the one thousand thank you thank you thank you <laughs> thank you so so much thank you very much so thank the you. minister of finance is saying that uh, with one thousand you want mm -hmm. to block this so that uh, this particular a thing hanging on the wall there whatever it is will be taken to the next store until you know there is something reasonable and we are going to unveil it this one don't break record though all right i think uh, this request by the minister is hereby approved thank you
But we still have some other surprises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can, yes. Hold yes, like that. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it continue. Let it continue, please. Yeah, we have some. <laughs> okay. Um, All right, we have a Kinsley, Kinsley GD. Go back to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good evening, Pierre. Good evening. Uh, good evening, uh, coordinator in Ireland. Yes, uh, we have uh, visitors. And you know, Ireland uh, is a special country, very peaceful. And as we all know that, uh, as we are, uh, our PM came all the way from Finland to Ireland, we won't allow him to go just like that. We show him that love that Ireland has because we have a special thing. There is something they know Ireland for. And today, our PM we go with it. And I believe our coordinator put it in the cage and we will not like to know that thing that is inside that cage and we all know that as our pm is going today all his bag will be full of island property and i'm <laughs> urging every and every one of yeah. us today is today we will show pm <laughs> yeah. that he, he came to ireland he's already there so it's not island is breaking a record and we want in this Biafran government <laughs> that whatever PM is talking of the country that he, he thought he must put Ireland first. So I'm urging each and every one of us to be able to do something so that our coordinator will be number one in the world. So <laughs> as it is today, although uh, I don't know what to say because the, uh, the joy is too much for me to be among the people that speak with our, our PM today. Uh, uh, as you know, my coordinator, I'm trying to know that uh, that you covered <laughs> as little as in this today. I'm, I'm trying to know that uh, with the sum of 20 euro, as you know. <laughs> I want to know that uh, that here. So I'm encouraging friends and where we shall please support us so that Ireland will be the first. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, All right, we have um, Samsung SM8135. Over to you, unmute yourself. Samsung SM135, over to you. Okay. Good evening, my able Prime Minister. Um, um, yeah, well. I'm the one. And the one that gave you, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I'm the one that gave you the title, Chief Not Abuin Here, Marana Akola Sum. That means that in every calculation, <laughs> if you don't see zero there, or even phone number, you're just wasting your time. If you don't, oh, yeah. if you say zero seven or zero eight, and you don't put the necessary thing, or if you want to call in UK, you call call the zoo, you put zero zero. If you don't put it, you are wasting your time. You can't get anybody in the zoo. And the, the 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 rep there, who is uh, one of that Tina, happens to be my sister. You know, it was the, his his her father that gave that title to somebody, and I picked it from the father is still alive. Chief not having him, man on a call so that shows how important you are to this very struggle. And there is this uh, assignment you gave me. Uh, you said um. What is it? Dom Parayo? I've been searching all my dictionaries. I think. Dom Parere. Dom Parere. Dom Parere. I'm still reminded to interpret this here because you're in Ireland. You're no more in UK now. So, <laughs> since you're in another territory, you can help us to unveil that one. I want to drop it. <laughs> I want to help you to. <laughs> the, the one that is laughing, the album one we share it. So, when I say it's my sister, you know that uh, the mother is from my home to Matana home. So, so that is why I'm the owner of our head. So welcome my prime minister again. Um, I want to give him vital information. You know, in the zoo, what they are now doing in all the area is to recruit securities from the hinterland, the, 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 village, the villages. You see all the youths that are being recruited into a particular type of security. So that uh, when I was talking to somebody today, I said, what is it all about? He said, no, they want to recruit them into security, security said, eh, so that people will fight with Biafra. He said, what is Biafra? You know, some of them are so gullible that they don't even know 
how far or what we are doing. And they are now recruiting them into those security, uh, security so that they'll be getting information about what we are doing. So I want to drop that too, so that we keep it to, so that all the youths should know that they shouldn't belong to the, such an outfit. That they, it's, it's, they are using the state government to do that in order to get this information. That's number one. And again, I noticed that the zoo have just ch changed their national anthem. I don't know whether they're afraid of our own national anthem or they want to compete with us. If that is what they want, yeah, let us see how they go about it. And that one is uh, they recently they said they want to go into regionalism. <laughs> they are doing everything to, to think out with our program. As you have said, we are not fighting a conventional war. We are fighting a guerrilla warfare. I know they will fail. Their idea will fail or whatever. And is Biafra or not? So having said that, I, I I was in the fundraising yesterday from UK. I'm going to support this one with 50 euros or a gemma, $50 or a, a gemma. I will give forward it to my sister, Tina, and for every prime minister to encourage you to be doing your talk and you continue to do it. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, all the team. I'm very grateful. God bless all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you, my blood. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we go to Anedo. Anedo, over to you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, we can hear you. How about you? Anedo, Anedo, greet you. Um, to add up uh, what my colleagues say, I was very, I'm very happy today. Um, I want to remind Biafra that uh, what Alberto Bia is doing today is what our leader did here years ago. Because, you know, Ireland is one of the countries our leader first visit. And our leader doesn't joke with Ireland. Because many things we used to start, um, our leader used to start this thing, both documents and evidence, get it from Ireland here. Nurses, doctors, uh, journalists, and a Red Cross, many things, you know. So, Mazi doesn't joke with here, uh, with uh, Ireland. And uh, this island, I want to remind you that the first day, the first time we discuss about this uh, 30th May, to, re to remember our hero, is in this island, in this city I am, in the Five Star Hotel. That is the first day. And we are, as soon as the, somebody mentioned that thing, as I sign it, say that when time comes, we are going to remember them. And today, everything is happening. So, without wasting time, please, um, I have used 50 a gemma to break cola. I say I want to use 20 you. Come on, can you hear that? I know how much you want. Biko, not to me, the 20 you, okay? Come on, hear that? I know how much you want. And again, my PM, Biko, I'm going to enter the area, Biko. Oh, no, I do possible. You see? Um, and then nine years, 14 years, 16 years. When I'm a snow brother and carry 16 years, we are not done. I don't know the Biafra, um, uh, Mazi, okay, for eh? any type of department, eh? May I run out for their Biafra security? Mazi, I don't think here, but I was going to run Nick and Nancy. I was going to know who can have one at teaching. May I run out of the Biafra security? Anything also, I will not be in relation of quarantine. How could not be possible? Because I am not here. They were mad. They were. They were. Thank you. iPhone, iPhone, unmute yourself. iPhone, unmute yourself. Back to you. iPhone, unmute yourself. iPhone. Benny, over to you since iPhone is not ready. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Minister of Information. Thank you. Do I have the mic now? Yes, Benny, go ahead. Thank you very much. Um, this is Ireland, <laughs> and our uh, able Prime Minister is in Ireland which is cabinet our chief of staff who happens to be the president of 
the new mandate is also here and all the ministers and the minister of finance has just thrown a challenge <laughs> to ireland blocking the view of the <laughs> present souvenir that we have prepared for our dear prime minister uh -uh. in ireland we are not that poor even though we are small <laughs> Yeah. And uh, I know that even before the visit of our Prime Minister, we have already gathered ourselves and challenged ourselves and put something aside. But I'm not going to touch that one. That one is just like in the bank. So I've already said I'm going to contribute 1,000, I mean, uh, $500 a gemma for the unveiling of this souvenir. Mm -hmm. And the Minister of Finance came to pose his challenge. In that case, I'm going to add $1,000 to the 500 I said before, which is 1,500 for wow. this to be unveiled. Oh, 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 <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The one of us is at work. He's supporting uh, with 30 uh, Gemma. His name is Ikeno. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Mazi Benny has uh, broken the camel's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so fi fi finally, finally, <laughs> finally, <laughs> it will be open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sahelin, over to you, Sahelin. Sahelin, unmute yourself. Elin, unmute yourself. You have the mic. Hello. Welcome to uh, PM to Ireland. Greetings. Greetings to you. And uh, we thank you for visiting us. And we thank you for all the work you have been doing to our, for our people. And then uh, and we am saying, may God bless you and reward you and give you the strength that you need with your cabinet. Amen. Amen. And uh, my question to you first uh, was the update of our leader coming out. Uh, is there any update or that is going to continue to be the perishing? That's the first thing. And the second thing I want to ask, um, I saw a video of the zoological kingdom cow, Afrani cows in Enugu, some part of Enugu. They said that's where almost 3 million of them are camped. That's nobody to reach to that area. So is anything going to happen to that? Because as we are told that those kidnappers are coming from there. That's one thing I want to ask. Another thing. So as for Finland, I'm encouraging people to go to Finland, but for myself, I'm not able to attend that because of being in close order. And last thing um we said that uh, it will be nice that um we you know have some sort of a meeting with uh, maybe your cabinet maybe once in a while if he's appointed maybe say two months they visit us 
that's just once in a while and just uh, giving us a little bit of feedback what's going on you know just once in a while because this time they meant to visit us but it seems to me every time something happened so we have they haven't actually reached us so that's Well, uh, if I understand, uh, if I understand uh, your question, uh, you know, one is that uh, the issue of Mazin Amdekano uh, is uh, the legal team have the, you know, uh, legal team should be uh, responsible for making comment on Mazin Amdekano. And I will urge every Bear France to stop delving into legal matters. We should stop delving into legal matters. I have made it very clear that the activities of the Biafra Republic government in exile today has nothing to do with Mazen Amdekano. We are fighting for him as the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. So that is not to say that he is responsible or have anything to do with what we are doing. So let nobody always come here to ask Mazen Amdekano. We are fighting and demanding his release. But he has a legal team, and this legal team, at least now that they are focused on their job and not about Biafra and what is going on in Biafra struggle. Can't you see that everywhere is peaceful? They focus on uh, Mazen Amdekanu's case while we focus on the Biafra struggle. That is the way it should be. You cannot be a lawyer and then you come to start fighting and uh, inter interfering in the issue of the Biafra struggle. So please, with the development of things and the way this is going to be going going forward we do not want to see any kind of complication anywhere linking Mazen and Mikano in the Biafra liberation we are going to use this status we have today to continue to pursue and to put pressure on the terrorist states to release him which uh, we are doing apart from that on the issue of anything legal or anything court I am not commenting on that because there are lawyers who are responsible for that. So anybody that have any question concerning the legal matters of Mazin Amdekanu should engage the lawyers on press conference. Go to their handle. There are they have Twitter. They are making posts every day. Go to a lawyer Jimako handle and ask question about Mazin Amdekanu's case. I am not his lawyer. I am a freedom fighter, and I'm fighting for his release. So I cannot. Uh, you know come here to start answering question about his court i am not his lawyer and it is time we begin to make this thing very very clear because you see the same people who are asking this question and some people who want this clarification will now go and start saying is he working with Mazin and the kind of, yeah he has to make a statement let him let us know is you know so we are not going to give anybody any room when Mazin and the kind of was kidnapped from kenya i said i will not analyze anything with the Fulanese. Now, what I'm going to do is either look me and they look you. And whenever the time for analyzing the thing come, we started analyzing it. But for now, with the war against Mazen Namdekano from the people he left behind, trying to link him with the Biafra liberation today, you see that it's already an orchestrated plan, which we are not going to fall into that trap. So anybody that have any question concerning Mazen and the Kano legal issue should go and contact their lawyer. And I am very, very happy today. They are not interfering in what I am doing as a Biafra prime minister trying to liberate Biafra people. And so, therefore, I will not interfere in their own legal issue, what they are doing for Mazen and the Kano for Biafra people. So, if you have any question, go there. I believe that if you ask them a question about Samonekpa now, they will tell you that uh, they are not here to answer a question about Samonekpa. You have you have listened to that several times. So I don't, I'm not here to answer question about the legal team. I'm here to answer question about the Biafra liberation and what we are doing to make sure the Nigeria government pay daily for kidnapping Mazin and Bikan. That is number one. Number two, you talked about the uh, uh, the cows in Enugu state. Cow will come. You cannot, uh, if we know how to cut the road that it, or cut the forest so that when cow is coming, they will all jump inside the hole. We will do it, uh, but we cannot do that. We don't know how to cut 
you know, put fence. If we know, if we have money, we'll put fence. But we don't have fence. So car will come. But when they come, we get the information, the rest will be history. In that same Enugu state you are talking about, we have a lot of sabo in Enugu. We have seen Onuzo one. How many times we have sent Biafran Liberation Army to Onuzo one to neutralize those terrorists coming to kill people there? And when this thing happened, many of you do not ask question how we are there able to defeat, how we were able to defeat them. But then people will always send you a message or a video of uh, the cow in the forest and all that. We are not going to be distracted by cows in the forest. We are more interested in as much as we are protecting the people in the, their farmland, we are more interested in the terrorists in the land, giving them backup. Because once you neutralize the terrorists, giving them backup, the Nigerian military, the police, and all these people carrying guns to give them backup and give them cover, you weaken them. So our focus now is more on the terrorist state. Once you neutralize those people, you have weakened the people coming with, uh, with uh, cattle because without them, they don't have the gut to enter your land because they know when they enter your land, they have the back of the military. The time we neutralize many of them, when they kill people in Uzo Wani, what happened? They, um, uh, you know, they um, uh, um, imported the uh, uh, tanks from uh, a district division in Enugu. They burned over 100 houses in Uzo Wani, Nigeria Army. They burned over 100 houses. But when this Fulani were killing the people, no military showed up. Immediately, we made sure we retaliated and pushed them out of the place. Military came and burned over 100 houses. Nobody will share that one now. So we are not going to be distracted with that particular issue of cow because we know we know where the weakness are. And once we puncture those places, the, the cow will disappear. And that's what we have been doing. So we are fighting this particular war very tactically and we are winning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our Prime Minister, you really have the record. You know, we forget easily. After the pogrom, after the dastardly act of this um, Nigeria army and Nigerian government and Nigeria media, we seem to forget over time. Anyways, um, as you know now, if it is not your house, you will just be saying it for me and saying it's sake. But if it is your house, you will not forget. You understand? That's how we should be feeling whenever the the cause trauma on our people, we should retaliate it in the next 50 years, in the next 100 years, we should remind them of that. That's how Fulani, they say Fulani don't forget, because they don't trivialize issues. But we, we trivialize issues, that is even why Igbos are still in Lagos. You see Igbo shops being burnt, this, 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 yet, people will continue because it's not their particular shop. I was burnt. But if we fight together, that, oh, hence you are burning down these things, we, we need to go. And then start those shops, those houses down there in the east. And that is it. We are telling the stooges, the governors, we are no longer begging them because we've begged them enough. God knows we have begged them enough. We have talked about it for years. Mazin Namde Kanu begged them for years. Yet they, they turned deaf ear. Now you hear you had a uh, Mohanes and Debo president say, Namde Khan is my son. Is my son. And this and that. It is because they have succeeded in pushing him into the hands of the enemies. They paid bounty on his head and they they abducted him. And now they feel they are relaxing. That's why he said, Nam the Kano is my son. All the while Kano was begging them that governors should not be deploying soldiers to our localities. That these are not security men. These are not defensive forces, but they are attacking forces. Yet they will block their ears. Before you know it, these military men will come, kill, maim, and even carry and forcefully take our people. And the governors will be clapping for them that, oh, they are carrying hoodlums. Who told you that your sons and daughters are hoodlums? Who told you that? Where did you get that grammar from? That your sons and daughters from Ibo land are hoodlums. God forbid. If you see a force 
or group of boys trying to fight this military, instead of you to commend them, to say, well, these are our indigenous defensive force, making sure that our land is not laid bare for, for these Fulani stooges, for this terrorist in uniform to take over. And then you went ahead to call them hoodlums, you wigged them out, you sabotaged them, you gave information, they burned their houses, they beat their parents, they carry them and do everything against them, and you are happy. You'll be shocked. The day they are silent, it is you directly they will come and carry. Because nobody will say hey. Nobody will say fight. Nobody, you will not even hear sound of gun. They will just come and pick you like that. And that's it. So the earlier we protect our, our own, the better. The earlier we equip our own, the better. Because, remember, all die, I die. You cannot count the atrocities of Nigerian army against the Ndebo. You cannot count the atrocity of Nigerian government against Ndebo. It is innumerable to mention. I must tell you the truth. Okay, I want you to help me to subscribe, like, share, and comment on this very um, news. Thank you.